Here is another video that will attempt to explain the problems people could have when laying out their stair steps, the width or the depth of the stair treads. Now the building codes require you to measure from the face of the farthest protruding section above. So if I had a nosing here, it would be from the face of the nosing. But here it's going to be from right here to the farthest projecting face of the step on the lower section. So here we have 11 inches all the way up. The building inspector would love to see this set of stairs. And they would be fine with this set of stairs also, even though the treads aren't the same. They allow for a maximum of 3 eighths of an inch in variation. And that would be from the smallest tread to the largest tread. So here we have an 11 inch wide tread. And then here we have 11 and 3 eighths. This wouldn't be a problem for the building inspector. However, this one would. We have an 11 and 5 eighths of an inch step. So if we went from the smallest step, 11 inches, to the largest, we would have a 5 eighths of an inch variation. And this would need to be corrected. This set of stairs would also create a problem for most building departments. We have a 2 foot 11 inch, 2 foot 11 inch. So I've seen stairways like this built on the outside. Um, you know, they want to do it in concrete. They want to make it a fancier type of stairway. And again, the face of the step on each one needs to be the same within 3 eighths of an inch variation. So hopefully this is starting to make sense here. And of course, if it isn't, then um, keep watching the video. Hopefully it'll make sense here. It'll uh, The bell will ring here at any moment. Now, to make things a little more confusing, we are going to put a landing in here. And a landing is going to be, at, it's usually going to have a three foot minimum for residential stairs. And I believe it's 44 inches for public stairways. And the one you're going to be focusing on most of the time will be for your home. And that's going to be three foot. Now, the, the width of the stairway also needs to be three foot as a minimum. It can be larger, it just can't be smaller than three foot. Now, when we put a landing in here, we have a landing, then a step, then another landing, then another step, and then up to your platform or your floor. This shouldn't be a problem with the building department because you're using a landing. So this is where um, I think if you're going to try and do something like this, you just have to use a landing and then a step and then a landing. So this thing right here can't be smaller, can be larger, just can't be smaller. So something like this would be acceptable. Landing or floor platform set of stairs with equal treads or within the 3 eighths of an inch allowed in the variation and then another landing here. Something like this should also be acceptable. A landing, two equal steps, another landing, and then we have one step. This isn't a landing. It's a step going up to another landing. Or if this was the floor, you could have it. You just can't have where I would have a landing, 11 inch step, 11 inch step, three foot step, two foot step, and then like an 11 inch step. That's probably not going to happen. In between the landings, we can have equal sized stair treads, which would mean something like this, where we just added another step in here. It's got to be the same size. This one here cannot be less than the step on the bottom or more than without 3 eighths of an inch variation. And this is the problem I see in a lot of landscaping stairs. They come in and they just they have like a 10 inch step and then they angle one step and you end up with something like this that's difficult to walk up and down. And I know this isn't something that uh, you're probably going to see, but I have seen things similar to this. And in long stairways, you know, if you're only going to do one or two steps, probably not going to be a big deal. If you're going to do 30 steps, yes, let's put a regular set of stairs in there that's 
going to be safe and uh, require less effort to navigate. So by now, everything should be making sense. You know, you build a stairway like this. Yeah, it's going to be a little crazy, a little hard to navigate, take a little more effort to um, go up and down. Your building department might not approve of it. If you go to sell your house, the people might not want to buy it just because of this thing right here. That is your choice. And I don't want to shoot down your, you know, creativity. I don't want to, uh, um, you know, put, uh, you know, be, be the ultimate downer here. But uh, would like to suggest that uh, you might want to uh, spend your effort on something else and keep the stairway nice and straight. So that's that's about it for this video. Hope it uh, helps and uh, any comments or questions, leave them in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible.